Hi guys, this is Maria with Lawrence Kia again, and I'm just going to give you another little interior tour of one of our models that we have. So this is the 2020 Forte FE trim level. Um, so really quickly, this one is a manual, as you can see. Um, it does have a backup camera, and it has cloth seats. So those are just a few little tidbits to know. So if we're going to get started on your driver's side, the left-hand side, um, on your door you'll see you have the child safety lock power windows, power locks, and power mirrors. So you just push this button to either the left or right, and from there you'll move the mirror whichever direction you want it to be, and you're all set to go. Um, right over here you have three buttons. So this first one is illumination, so you can decide if you want it to be brighter, dimmer, whichever one you want. And then you have lane departure warning. So when you press this button, you're gonna see this exact same icon on your dash. And from there, um, if you start to veer out of your lane, it's gonna make an audible noise to let you know you need to come back into your lane. And then this button next to it is traction control. If you come up to the steering wheel right here on the left-hand side, these are all of your buttons for um, like Bluetooth, Android Auto, um, Apple CarPlay anything like that. So you have your voice command, um, volume up and down. Uh, you can change either the station if you're listening to the radio or the uh, music, the song you're listening to depending on the app. You also have answer a phone call and end a phone call. On the right hand side is for your cruise controls. You have cruise, um, reset and set it. You can go faster or slower and cancel it. And then this button right here with the paper icon, that is for your settings. You can go through everything and set it where you wanna be. Both toggles on the um, left-hand side, this is for your lights as well as your blinker. And then on the left-hand side, you've got your windshield wipers and your windshield wiper fluid, everything you need right there. If we move on into the console area, you'll see that you have a nice set of storage right here. Um, on top of it is a nice armrest, parking brake, of course. And then you have some more storage up in here, as well as two 12 volts and an illuminated USB port, as well as an aux cord. So those are illuminated for your convenience in the dark. If you're trying to see to plug in your phone or anything, it's really simple. If you come up a little bit further, you'll see that you have all your climate controls um, to decide what heat you want it on, how hard you want it to blow on you, as well as which direction you want it to go. All very simple. You have your hazard lights. And then if you come up to the screen up here, this is a touch screen. So you can go anywhere you need to go with the touch of a finger. So as you can see, it is compatible with Android Auto and Apple CarPlay, as well as Bluetooth. So you can go to setup and Bluetooth, Bluetooth connection, and then from there, just add new, make sure your phone's Bluetooth is on and then it will pair the device for you. So that's really quick and simple to use as well. Um, up above, you'll see that you have a place for your sunglasses as well as the ability to turn your lights on in the cabin, keep them just on when you open the doors or just completely have them off. Um, if you go into the back seat, there is room for three people. Um, it is pretty spacious back there and it does have cloth seats all throughout. There is the ability to pull those seats down through the trunk. Um, otherwise, this is a great car to have if you are a first, first time car buyer in high school, college. Uh, this is just a really simple, nice car to have. So uh, there is gonna be a video on the exterior that you can check out for. Otherwise, stay tuned for more videos.